Hey guys, thanks for checking in. So, you know what this video is about based on the title and you're probably looking at me like, oh my gosh, where's your hair? So, uh, this video is going to do two things. It's going to be a thank you and I also want this video to inspire. Thank you. There is a girl on YouTube that goes by Talia Joy 18 Talia is a 12 year old girl and she is battling cancer and I've been watching her for some time now and when I say she's an inspiration I mean it she has this light that that just beams in her and she doesn't it's like it doesn't matter that she's ill or that she's sick she doesn't let her she doesn't let it take her down and that is why I started watching our videos because it really inspired me it really inspired me to be strong and to not let this thing bring me down and I just want to say thank you I don't know if she's ever gonna see this but if you are watching this Talia I just want to say thank you when I first found out that I had cancer I was just distraught like I, I didn't know what to do and I had to find my way and just when I was there to being strong I came across your videos and it was just a big eye-opener and a big inspiration and you're so I'm so much older than you and I couldn't find what you have inside and now I feel like I'm there. I'm not completely there, but I'm there. I'm, I'm better than what I was before. So I just want to say thank you, Talia, for instilling a light in me. The light that beams in you is going to start burning in me. And I just want to say thank you. And I know you're staying strong, but I just want to say stay strong. You are a fighter. You are a warrior. And I just want to say thank you once again for making me strong for making me believe that you know cancer is not a thing that should bring you down at all so thank you Talia inspire in November of 2011 I was diagnosed with stage 4 Hodgkin's lymphoma and it wasn't something I saw coming um, there were signs that I didn't notice I was losing a lot of weight but I just thought you know I'm just not eating I just don't have the same desire for food anymore so I didn't think anything of it uh, I was losing weight and um, I was having night sweats and uh, I started growing these uh, um, enlarged lymph nodes and I had one in my neck which is why I have a scar because I had a biopsy of it which is what declared um, that I had cancer and uh, I didn't know what to do. I was, I felt like I was in another universe. I, I, it wasn't real. It wasn't happening to me. You don't think that one day you're going to wake up and yeah, you have cancer. And it was a shock to me because I've never been sick. I've always been the healthy one in my family. I never even had a tooth pulled. And it was hard. It, it was really hard to deal with. And there was a lot of times I cried and I said why 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 and I wasn't okay I was not okay my family definitely helped me uh, my sister definitely helped me to you know is this isn't something I can change this is something that I can only fight and I started you know trying to see who I was how strong I could be and now I see I am one strong woman. I have I am now at a point in my life where I don't see cancer as something that's gonna bring me down and that's my enemy. If anything, cancer has made me stronger. Cancer has made me has changed my life completely. It's made me see things totally different. It's made me value life more. It's made me it's made my faith even stronger. And that's one thing that I want to instill in you. If you have cancer, if you know someone who has cancer, if you just found that you had cancer, or if you are currently battling cancer, I just want to say that you have to find your inner strength. 
you have to know that you're gonna be okay you can't go through life wondering if buts or whys you have to know that you are strong that you can beat it and once you beat it you can take on anything do you know that you are the strongest person in the universe you are the strongest person in the universe so many people who wouldn't know what to do if they had this they wouldn't and that's what makes you so special because you're doing it you are the one that's battling you are doing the greatest fight that you were ever gonna fight and you have to walk with that torch in your hand like you're in the damn Olympics and you have to find your victory to the cancer patients out there who are probably watching this you have to pick yourself up you cannot let yourself go into a stage of depression I, I know how you're feeling I, I I'm not sitting here as a cancer survivor I'm still battling cancer I, I thought I was done but my cancer unfortunately has come back and I actually start chemo once again this week and I'm going on a whole new drug that hasn't even been on the market for so long so I'm kind of scared about the side effects and I'm also going to require a stem cell transplant so I'm going to be in the hospital for like a whole month so I'm definitely nervous I'm not going to sit here and lie and say oh things are going to be so easy I'm nervous but just because you're nervous doesn't mean you can't be strong and positive you have to be positive. You can't go through this thinking negative. Please, if there's one thing you can do for yourself is to be positive. If you're gonna be negative, you're not gonna get better. Your body's going is gonna know that you're down and you have to get out of bed. I know how it feels to just, you don't wanna get out of bed, you just wanna lay down, sleep all day. You have to push yourself, okay? You can't let this thing this evil thing get you you have to you have to you have to fight it you cannot you cannot be weak and negative you have to be strong and i know you guys have it you have to find something you have to find a goal you have to find a goal if it's I want to go back to school. I haven't been in school for a whole semester and I'm going to be gone for another semester. But that's my goal. I want to go to school so, so bad. I want homework for God's sakes. I want to see my sorority sisters. I want to be in school again. And that is my goal. That is what's making me strong. I need to go back to school because I want to get my education and I want to get my career in music going. You have to get a goal. If it's not school, if it's not work, let it be to have your life back again let it be so you can take a run in the park if you want to go to the movies let it be you want to have your life back again let that be your goal find it in yourself to be strong and once you have that feeling it's so liberating i feel so liberated right now i could cry i could stomp my feet I can do everything but it's not gonna change my situation the only thing that can change is how you feel about yourself and how you feel about this cancer you have to feel about this cancer that it's not something that's gonna break you down but something that's gonna lift you up and something that's going to get you to be the strongest person you ever were you are a fighter you are a warrior you are a damn beast and you can take on anything that goes on in your life okay you have to you have to know that every day you go through chemo every day you get through is one step closer to your goal to going to school to going to work to getting your life back so know that and I want this video to help lift any of you to just motivate you to be strong and to think positive so to end this video if any of you are battling cancer or know someone who's battling cancer I want you to know that you have so many people here for you so many people fighting for you and I know how it feels you feel alone 
you know your parents are there for you your siblings are there for you but they don't know what you're going through they don't know that how you're feeling with nausea every day throwing up every day having hot flashes blacking out i know how it feels trust me i know how it feels but you have to be a fighter and i know you feel alone but i want you to know that there's so many people in your shoes and if any of you want advice want to talk just want to just pour your feelings out message me privately privately if you don't want anyone seeing what you have to say so I just want this video to inspire you to be strong inspire you to keep your faith and to just stay positive positive. and I just want you all to know that you're not alone there's so many young people who are battling cancer it's a shame but it's something that life has thrown at us. And you have to know that you're going to make it. You're going to make it. So, I know this is a long video. But if you made it this far with me, thank you. And to my cancer patients, good luck. And keep fighting. Thank you guys for watching. And have a lovely day. Bye, guys.